I'm Jennifer Angel, these are your stars from May Pisces. Now Venus is going to transit to your fourth house on the 10th. Now this is the zone of your home, your family, so there's going to be more focus around your domestic scene. It's also a very nice position to have some self-nurturing and with Venus in there, you know, it's a good time to just get out and be nice to yourself. I mean, do something to pamper yourself, even if it's just to read a good book, go to a movie or have a bubble bath. So whatever it is, Pisces, you know, make sure you do something, something nice for yourself this month. Now, um, there's also a need to have some balance between your work and home. So, you know, this is, this is an, another thing to focus on this month is, you know, you're very busy in work, but you want to also just have that time for yourself. It seems to be important to do that now while you can. Now, communication is going to be very important as well with family. Um, and you might find that somebody will reach out for you and uh, reach out to you and you're going to want to be there for them. So um, the other thing that can happen this month is you can walk away from people who no longer serve you or you no longer feel connected with. So it's almost like a couple of things can happen this month along this line. Some people will show their true colors and you think, okay, fine, I don't really need that in my life. Other people, it's just that you'll have a, a, um, a natural parting and that can be for, for many reasons. I mean, you don't have to have a bus up to have a natural parting. It just means that, you know, that person no longer is connected to you and you're both going off on your journeys and just wish them well and um, you know and go off on your own journey of course if there's anybody around your life at the moment that is not having a positive influence then do you want to think carefully about if if you can't eliminate them from your life certainly minimize because the one thing you don't need ever in your life Pisces is people that are not supportive of who you are and more importantly your dreams okay now let's have a look at the professional side of your life. The full moon is in your this month is in your tenth house. It's all to do with your business and career. It's at the end of the month on the twenty fifth. It's going to help you iron out some issues, get some closure on some areas, so you can start afresh. The full moon sort of helps you sort of push the reset button, and sometimes it can be a little bit confronting or challenging or unsettling to do that. But you know, once you do that, it sort of clears the air and you can move forward. Now the sol there's a, the new moon this month is a solar eclipse um, and the solar eclipse plus Mercury are in your fifth house and Mercury will move in on the 31st. Now this is a very creative area of your chart. Um, the fifth house is good to connect with people, to work within a team. So projects can go ahead over this period. It's like a new start. It can be successful. Um, on a, on a cre creative level and most certainly if you've got the right team of people around you that you're working with then it's like that's where you get the most enjoyment out of your work so there's you know a couple of things here you want the work to be um, of a high standard uh, you want the remuneration to be good of course but you also want to enjoy your work and that's to do with forming it, getting together and enjoying the people that you work with. And that's all very possible this month. Okay. It's like you, you get the green, the green light. Now on a monetary level, you want to be a little bit careful in mixing money and friends. So if you do, then make sure that all the ground rules are set. You all know what the expectations are. Okay. Um, now there's also a very, um, beneficial aspect that at the end of the month which can bring family and money connections through okay so I'm not sure how this would relate to your life but somehow to do with with family and uh, finances then you can um, you know get a windfall or agree on some advantageous situation that's going to be beneficial for all parties so it's a it's a very nice connection and that's towards the end of the month and my angel advice for you Pisces is this month sorts out 
what's not working in your life and what is working in your life. And then what you need to do is like take charge, take control, and then lead your life in the direction that you want to, to go to. And sometimes this is not easy to do because you don't want to upset anybody, but really it's your life, Pisces. So you have to take control and be responsible for what you want to manifest and what direction you want to head it in, okay? Okay, much love to you, beautiful Pisces. Thank you for watching. I'm Jennifer Angel. Bye for now.